It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. I have seen every single Fast and the Furious movie, okay. okay? All of them, dozens of times. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any of them? I saw the Tokyo one, and I saw the one where the rock punches the torpedo. Those are the best two to see, okay. In times like this, I ask myself one question. WWVDD, you know what that means? What would Vin Diesel do? No one's ever gotten that before, okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna kiss the bumper. You give it a little tap, and then okay. they're gonna spin and stop, and we're gonna spin and stop the other way, and okay. we're gonna look at each other, and we're gonna go, it's all about the family. Wait, I don't feel comfortable running the kids off the road. This slow and unfurious attitude is not helping us. You have to believe. Okay. Kiss it. Our guest today is a screenwriter, actress, and producer, best known for Pitch Perfect 1, 2, and 3. She is also the creator of Netflix original series Girl Boss and the director of the film we're going to speak about today called Blockers. Let's welcome Kay Cannon to the show. Kay, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thanks for having me. How have you been? Great. <laughs> I've got, got a movie coming out. I'm so excited. I <laughs> I know, absolutely. Listen, I'm so thrilled to be speaking with you today. You're such an inspiration. In addition to everything I just mentioned, I know you've got three Writers Guild Awards. You've got three Primetime Emmy nominations. Three seems to be a good number for you. <laughs> and now you're making a directorial debut on this film, Blockers. So tell me, how did this come about? Is directing something you've always wanted to do? It, it, it was. Like, I, I have such respect for the role, but I honestly thought the first time I would direct something would be television and, and I would do baby steps to a movie. I kind of can't mm -hmm. believe that um, I directed a studio rated R comedy, <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and I basically, like, uh, Good Universe and Point Grey sent me the script at, with an offer to direct, and I, I was thrilled uh, that they, like, sought me out to do this movie, and I would feel so lucky that when I read the script, it, it touched upon themes and ideas and a story that I w really connected to. Amazing. I mean, congratulations for being one of the brave female crusaders in this male male dominated space of this raunchy coming of age comedy genre. I do Tell what me I can. What Amazing. So tell me, what can viewers expect from from a story like this being told from a female vantage point? Oh, good question. I mean, I think that like even though, you know, girls and boys have the same wants and desires, they are they are shifted a little bit. You know, they represent from our perspective, from a female perspective, it, it's, it's different in that um, our three daughters have different reasons why they want to lose their virginity. Um, and uh, I think that this uh, movie, although it has craziness and big, like raunchy scent pieces, and it's like hilarious and funny and all that, it's also quite sweet and heartfelt and emotional. And so I, I think that um, I, I'm hoping that this movie touches on all different sides of, you know, I, I believe we laugh and cry on the same day. So I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that people will do the same. Wonderful. Well, let's talk about the cast. You've got an all-star lineup here. You've got John Cena, Leslie Mann. You've got Ike Barnholtz, uh, comedy actors who are very well known in this genre. So as a director, were there any surprises working with this cast? It must have been a blast on set. It, it was. There wasn't too many surprises. It's interesting that, uh, I mean, like, John Cena is well known, obviously, for, for being a wrestler. Yeah. But in terms of, like, yeah. a, a, this big of a role in a rated R movie, a comedy, uh, uh, in, ter in terms of him being one of the leads, like, that's pretty new for John, you know? And um, yeah. what was so great is, like, myself being a first-time director, he and uh, John taking on a bigger role in a comedy, we both felt like newbies. And um, and luckily, uh, we had such a wonderful working relationship because he's incredibly coachable. Like when you're an athlete, you're coachable. And I happen to have been an athlete growing up as well. And um, I like people who are coachable and I really respond to that, and he the same to, back to me. Um, so then my nickname ended up being Coach on set, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you know, and then the three daughters, they're um, they, uh, they they were pretty new to this too. So there was a lot of like there was a lot of fun, eyes wide open, like, what are we doing? This is awesome. We're we're figuring this out together. How great is this kind of mentality on set? 
That's incredible. So what did you do to prepare for this role? Oh, uh, I mean, I worked a, a, a lot on the script. Uh, the script was really fluid, and um, I felt like I took the things that I knew how to do well in television and, and put them into this movie, and that, that all starts with the script and, and the story and what kind of stories we were going to tell. So I worked really hard on that, and then I watched a lot. I mean, I'm a huge John Hughes fan, and so I went back mm -hmm. and rewatched uh, John Hughes movies, particularly Pretty in Pink, because because I love how that good uh, one. He, yeah, he wrote that. He didn't direct that movie, but I love how that prom was shot, and I wanted to try to um, sort of um, it's an homage to that. Uh, have like a really beautiful prom setting, and uh, where the where the kids kind of they look like kids, but they but they are very adult looking as well. So I, that was a little bit of my research. I understand. Well, looks like we're out of time, but thank you so much, Kate, for being on the show. Really oh, appreciate you. it, and I look forward to, you're, you're very welcome, I look forward to seeing more of you in the future. Congratulations oh. again on the show. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, Fast and the Furious is completely unrealistic. It's not a documentary. I get that. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.